Okay, so about a month ago, I decided to start selling downloadable products on my website. Um, I already had the WooCommerce plugin uh, installed, and it seemed to that it should have been just an easy flip of a switch and in order to make that process possible. Uh, however, I was totally incorrect about that. Uh, what I encountered, I encountered a problem where after the, the install had been set up for the downloadable products, the emails that were being sent to the customers did not include a link in order to download the products. In addition to that, th there wasn't any link within their own accounts on my website in order to download those products. So that, of course, caused a problem. And so I did a little bit of searching on the internet and I found different um, uh, people that had the same issue that I had. However, um, there were a few solutions and none of those solutions actually worked for me. So what I did was I did a little bit of searching around trying to figure out what exactly was wrong. And so after a little bit of uh, investigative work, I was able to figure out that when the WooCommerce plugin was installed, and I'll go ahead and pull this up, one of the columns uh, within the WooCommerce downloadable products permissions uh, table was not installed. One of the, the uh, columns, again, was not there that should have been there. And so in order to uh, fix that problem, and by the way, the column's name should have been uh, permissions underscore ID. In order to fix that problem, what I decide, what you uh, can do if you are encountering the same problem I uh, did or I encountered, uh, you can add a column to it and give it the name permissions or permission singular underscore ID. And I went ahead and used Big Int 20. I have no clue what it should be, but Big Int 20 seemed to have uh, worked for my problem anyway. So if you go ahead and click on the Big Int, uh, not Big Int 20, but go ahead and say you want to add a column in there. And then click on the fields area, type in permission, singular, ID. You're going to give it the big int. And by the way, I should have mentioned that I'm actually using PHP my admin in order to access my database. Uh, you may have another way of uh, doing it, but the uh, provider that I have, what they uh, gave me as an option was the PHP my admin. So um, this is the option that I'm using. And we're going to give this a length of 20. So we have permission underscore ID big int 20 and if we go ahead and save that uh, what ends up happening now is that I have the table in there okay and so now given that uh, if you have the same problem I had uh, you should be able to access uh, your uh, links uh, your customer should be able to access the links from their uh, emails okay uh, hopefully this helps you as it helped me. Um, if you have any questions about this, uh, you can definitely uh, check out my website and I'll pull that my information up again. Uh, my website is www.clydeletson.com or you can also check out my um, YouTube channel uh, for more solutions to problems, for instance, that I encounter. Thanks.